Data nerds, Google just released both of these certificates that are marketed towards experienced data analysts. But I'll be honest, certificates, and even these certificates in general, won't necessarily land you your dream job. Instead, it's the knowledge that you gain from a certificate that actually helps. So let's dive into both of these. First up is Google's Business Intelligence, or BI, professional certificate. It's aimed at aspiring BI analysts, BI engineers, and BI developers. Never heard of a BI developer before. But on LinkedIn, it has twice as many roles as the other two. Google claims it's an advanced level certificate. Please. But from my research, I would classify this as more as a medium level. They're estimating it takes two months to complete at 10 hours a day. It will cost you around 39 bucks a month here in the US and Canada. I'll talk about later how you can access these courses for free using audit mode. For the tools, it more focuses on Tableau and SQL. And lastly, it's only in English, but there's more subtitles to come. Being the nerd that I am, I went in and plotted out how long you're using each of the tools in the courses, along with how long the videos and readings are. And one of the main issues that I had with the business intelligence course was that less than 10% of the certificate itself was focused on tool usage. Bro. The rest was focused on just readings and videos. It was a little bit excessive. Next up is the Advanced Data Analytics Certificate. It's aimed at aspiring senior data analysts, junior data scientists, and data what? science analysts. Not really sure what that is. I really think Google's just making up names at this point. They classify the certificate as advanced level, and I would say this is actually appropriately rated. I mean, look at this guy on the homepage actually representing this certificate. Like the BI course, it's done all on your own pacing. It's estimated to take six months to complete at the same price of 39 US dollars per month. For the original Google Data Analytics certificate, it was rated for six months and a lot of people completed it in two to three months. So I think that's gonna be the same here. For the tools, you'll be using Python heavily with a little sprinkle of Tableau and Kaggle. 30% of your time will be focused on tool usage, mainly Python. The remaining will be on videos and readings which I think could be a little less. But before we dive any deeper into the course themselves, if you're new here, I'm Luke and I'm a data analyst. My channel is all about tech and skills for data science. Quick disclaimer, this video is not sponsored by Coursera. Now they did reach out to me and offer to sponsor it, but I just didn't feel it was right. And so I declined that and I even told them I wasn't going to make a video on this. And now I awkwardly did. So Coursera had no input into this video itself, nor do they review it. They're seeing it at the same time you see it. Last major disclaimer is that the links in the description are affiliate links. And I was debating whether using them or not, but I need to keep the lights on in order to make these kind of videos. So I decided to leave them. Oh, and actually last, last disclaimer. Dude. I have not taken this course because it just like, just came out, right? But I have spent the past few days skimming through the course material, playing videos, and working through assignments. All right, so where do these courses come from? Well, two years ago, Google released their data analytics certificate. Despite it also being heavy with videos and readings, it's a great introductory to learn how to talk and walk like a data analyst. Since its launch, I've reached out and talked to multiple different certificate holders, and all of them had pretty positive reviews about the course. So I'm really bullish on this certificate program. I don't know why I'm using bullish. I'm not really a stock guy, but we're going to go with it. Now, I mainly like this as the first introductory course as it covers all of the top skills of a data analyst. In my last video, I built a tool that you can access at datanerd.tech that tells you the top skills of data analysts, along with other roles like data scientists and data engineers. And these skills matched up perfectly with what the industry is demanding for top skills of data analysts. Now, Google's thought was that once you gain that data analytics certificate, you then go on to gain something like the business intelligence certificate or even the advanced data analytics certificate, depending on where you want to go in your career. But I don't really think that the data analytics certificate is needed as a prereq if you have a familiarity with this field already and these tools. Google even goes as far to link the previous certificate in these current certificates so that way you can go back and refresh and maybe understand any of the material that you may have missed. All right, enough with the history lesson. Let's actually dive into the business intelligence certificate and check out what it's all about. This certificate is broken into three courses. The first one is focused on an intro to business intelligence. The first course is heavy on the videos and lectures, but the videos are from actual data professionals in Google. So you gain a lot of insight of understanding what they actually do day to day. But I'll be honest, they got a little boring and I had to crank these bad boys up to two times speed in order to get through them. Second course gets into building data models and pipelines using SQL and specifically their tool BigQuery. There's a lot of great insights on best practices for building these data pipelines, which from experience, I can tell you it's really necessary to know these things. Now this course does go through assignment building a data flow with Python, 
but it takes less than 30 minutes and they really hold your hand heavily during this. So I don't really count this as learning Python. Only about two and a half hours of this entire course is even devoted to using SQL to build these pipelines. So I was really disappointed in the practical exercises in this course. Third and final course is on building dashboards and reports. A lot of great video content on how to build out great dashboards and reports. But when it comes to actually implementing what you learn, once again, it's disappointing. Only about three and a half hours of the course are devoted to working with Tableau to build dashboards. So when I told it all up, the course is about 77 hours long. And 70 of those hours are devoted to videos and readings, which I think is quite excessive. And this main issue that I found is the reason why I even made this video. So if you're looking to actually learn more or to understand what a BI analyst does day to day, this is a great course for you. However, if you're actually looking to build up your skills to become a BI analyst and apply this and actually build projects, this is not the course for you. Instead, if you want to be a BI analyst, I'd still focus on these top two skills from this course, so SQL and Tableau, but I would recommend another course instead. For SQL, I'd focus on the specialization of Learn SQL Basics for Data Science. This course provides a lot more hands-on practice of building SQL queries and actually implementing pipelines. For Tableau, I would focus on the specialization data visualization with Tableau. Also super hands-on, you don't have to have any background in Tableau. They even have a great little capstone at the end that you can build a dashboard that you can then share to your Tableau public profile. Both of these course recommendations are beginner level, so there's no experience required, and you can jump right into both of these. Now for all those keyboard warriors out there that are saying I'm a sellout for providing these affiliate links, I'm going to show you how you can actually get these courses for free if you want to actually check it out. So if you actually go in and actually enroll and sign up, you can go in and actually select to audit this course. In this mode, you'll be able to take most of the course material for free. The one catch is that you won't get a certificate at the end. <sighs> all right. Enough with the BI analyst, let's actually dive into the advanced data analytics certificate. This certificate is seven courses long. Oh. With the first one focusing on foundations of data science. It's heavily focused on videos and readings in the first course. For some of the videos, you can see them clearly reading from teleprompters, and it gets really distracting seeing this. The second course actually gets into Python, though. And this course has seven hours of instruction on Python. That's more instruction of a tool than the BI course altogether. This course assumes you have no background in Python and tries to get you up to speed on the basics that you need to know to use this language. In course three, they get into analyzing the data using my favorite library, Pandas. And at the end of this course, you go into using Tableau. And it's only for two hours, and you really never use Tableau again in the course. Courses four, five, and six are super heavy in math which as a data analyst, I think it's super important to know this. It even goes as far to use math with Python. So you're actually implementing what you learn. Not gonna lie, the team that made the BI certificate course could have taken some lessons from the team that made the advanced data analytics course because they have a really great method of actually teaching you what you need to know and then implementing it with a tool. For these courses, it goes over three main areas, statistics, regression, and machine learning. As a data analyst, I use statistics and regression a lot. So I'm really a fan of this machine learning not so much. So I think they just sort of included this as a way to say, hey, we're teaching machine learning. Final course is the capstone project. And I think it's always important to use a project in order to build that knowledge. However, I'm not as much of a fan of what they did here. Mainly in the original Google Data Analytics certificate, they let you choose your data set that you wanted to use for your capstone project. This made you able to develop a unique capstone project unique to you and to be able to share. With this, you're gonna have the same capstone project as everybody else taking the course, so you're really not gonna have a unique case to share. In total for this course, out of 179 hours, you spend almost 50 hours with Python, which I'm really impressed with. Now, do I recommend this certificate? Well, I think it comes down to what is your goal? If your goal is to master advanced data analytics, as this course is heavily focused on math, I think this is a great option for you to choose. However, if your goal is to learn Python, this is not the best course for you. Instead, I would learn the Python for Everybody specialization from Dr. Chuck. This has much more bite-sized lessons that help you go through and actually understand and grasp the concepts. I felt that the advanced data analytics certificate problems were a little excessively long and not guided enough. So I even I found myself peeking into the answers trying to figure it out. All right, so going back to what I said at the beginning about landing a job with these. 
So these are great certificates in order to gain knowledge and understand what you need to do in order to accomplish a job. But certificates alone, whether this one or the other ones that are recommended, aren't going to be just listed on your resume and then get you a job. Instead, employers want to see relevant experience. They just want to see that you've taken this knowledge and actually applied it in real-world projects. And these real-world projects can be projects that you do on your own. But you have to go beyond just these certificates if you think that you're going to get a job with them. All right. As always, if you got value out of this video, smash that like button. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.